bullshit! I told you to get Ryan Kessler. Anderson would have been the perfect goalie. That motherfucking self-entitled pompous piece of shit. God damn it! Oh, Jesus Christ. Woo, I made it in alive, boys. There are thousands of Ottawa Senator fans, angry Ottawa Senator fans, outside my office. Not allowing me and Eugene into the office today, but we managed to get through them all. Oh, I'm out of breath. My goodness gracious. I did not know there would be such a backlash of angry analysts out there from not making a move in free agency in the offseason. My goodness gracious. But you know what? As the general manager of the Ottawa Senators, that's what I got to deal with. This is my team. All right. I take the blame if we fail, but I'll take all the glory if we succeed. And I'm standing my, by my decisions and Eugene Melnick's decision to not give us the finances that we need to go to that next step. We're a young team. We're trying to grow right now. We have a few big contracts coming up in the next few years. And you know what? I believe in our top six right now. Screw Kyle Pozo, screw Ryan Kessler, screw David Backus. I'm going with Taylor Hall, Kyle Turris, Bobby Ryan, Stones, Abinijad, and Hoffman. If I was to get one of those free agents, one of these guys would have to move down, and I'm not ready to do that just yet. I know they're only 84s and 85s, but you know what? The Ottawa Senators, the spirit of the underdog team, we're going to keep these guys. And you know what? I don't buy that, that I don't listen to you guys. I mean, last year we got Taylor Hall because you guys wanted me to go out. Uh, we traded away Anderson because you guys wanted him gone. We got back uh, uh, Wingles and uh, Justin Braun, right? Last year at the draft, we moved up to the top six. So, I will listen to your opinions, but you have to convince me. I'm not just going to do it because there's a lot of votes saying, go after Connor McDavid, go after Ryan Kester. Screw that, son. I have an image. I have a... a I have a, a plan for the Ottawa Senators, and I'm going to see it through. Even throughout all the uh, the negatives and the bad times, all the analysts saying that we need to do something. We need to fire the owner. We need to fire the GM. Nah, son. I'm going to see this, uh, this team through, and we're going to be successful. So, I've already gone ahead with all the line changes. I can actually show you guys once again. There you go. I'm out of breath, man. Whew, my God. I saw some, some crazy fans there in the parking lot. So we got Taylor Hall, Kyle Turris, and Bobby Ryan. And this is a, a new for us. This is a first for us because last year we acquired Taylor Hall halfway, meh. Halfway, two-thirds through, uh, through the season, and he was an 87 when we picked him up. Now he's an 89, so we have an entire year with two 89s and an 87 on the first line with a 90 overall offensive defenseman. So I expect our power play should be pretty good. Second line, Hoffman's Ben and Jadon Stone. You know, this is going to be the year that these guys are really under the microscope. Because we could have signed those free agents, you know, you guys have really got to earn your contracts and earn your place in the top six. You don't want to become career third liners for us. Or trade bait, the way that some of these analysts are talking about, right? Uh, third line, Justin Ablocator, our free agent pickup. He's going to help out that third line. Curtis Lazar, we're going to give him the third line center position so that hopefully he can grow. He's still only 83 overall. And then we got Colin Greening alongside of him. Uh, fourth line, Eric Condra, Zach Smith, and Joel Ward. All right, so our offensive core, defensive core. And I saw two comments, a few comments actually, both saying that Cody CC should basically be in the... Uh, on the top two. I think they were from the same player. John Tavares, or same person, John Tavares. I'll read one of them. Johnny, you need to play CC with Carlson if you want him to get better. CC is better than Weirkosh and deserves top two minutes. Um... Absolutely. I'm not saying that Weirkosh is the better player than Cody Cece, right? I just liked how last year and the year before that, Cody Cece played pretty well with Eric Carlson, plus 12, plus 19. And considering that Cody Cece was the better player, I felt like I could spread them out a little bit, right? Because Weirkosh doesn't hurt Eric Carlson. But... I'll see what Cody CC can do on the same line with Eric Carlson this year, right? Weirkosh is going to be on the second line with Justin Braun, Mathot with uh, Phillips, and we have Green just in case Phillips starts to get worse or if an injury happens, all right? But we're going to go with Chris Phillips, the uh, the longtime serving Ottawa Senator. Power play looks pretty much the same, but I put Curtis Lazar on the second line defensive core instead of a Braun or Mathot. Let's give this guy some power play time. Four-man power play, Kyle Turris with Bobby Ryan, Zabinijad, and Taylor Hall. Carlson with CC, Weirkosh, and Curtis Lazar, same thing. Uh, penalty kill, Zach Smith, Curtis Lazar. Now this year, I'm going to run with Eric Carlson on my first-line penalty kill. The reason is, his defensive category is five-star. And as the captain of this team, 26 years old, I want to give this guy the chance, and I want to see if he can lead our team here. Right? I want to, I want to use Eric Carlson like a, a thoroughbred. He's got to be the horse for this team, logging crazy amounts of minutes. So I'm going to put him on the penalty kill. Uh, Three-man penalty kill, same thing. Four-on-four four lines, looks like that. Four-on-four four lines. 
extra attackers, Eric Carlson, goaltenders, Robin Lehner, and Ben Scrivens. And Lehner, man, you're another player who's going to be under the microscope this year. Definitely, big time. And, yeah, there you go. And then for our AHL squad, I took off LeBlanc from the uh, fourth line left wing spot and put him on the first line defensive, uh, defensive core. All right, so hopefully he can uh, jump up this year as well. So there you go, boys. There are all of the changes. Let's get to the season. So here we go, boys. The year three start. We got a home game against the New York Rangers. We got our new lineups. Let's see what happens. So I don't know how far I want to go in this video. I like the new way that we do this where we just go the quick sim or the long, well, the, you know, the medium sim for uh, the beginning month just to see if we need to make any line changes, all right? So let's continue with that routine. First period, home ice, baby. Oh, oh my God. Robin Lehner, you're not doing yourself justice here. The last game that Robin Lehner played, he allowed, what was it, five goals and eight shots in the first period. His first game of the season this year, he allows three goals on 12 shots in the first period. Come on now, offense. It's only a regular season game. Second period, all right, not looking good. Third period, ooh, we got two back. They got another three. All right, so six goals on seven shots. Robin Lehner, man, what the hell is going on? One game of the season, boys, one game of the season. I know I'm gonna hear it, man. I know I'm gonna hear it in the comments, but we gotta be we gotta be like Steve Eiserman with the Tampa Bay Lightning here. You gotta be patient. You know, like a few years ago, no one knew the names uh, uh, Palat and Kucherov and uh, and Strawman, right? But you give them time, you grow the team together, and all of a sudden these names become household names. That's what I'm hoping for from guys like Zabinijad and Hoffman and Stone. We're Kosh and Cody Cece and Robin Lehner. I really need you. Battle of Ontario against the Toronto Maple Leafs. Come on now, Ottawa. First period. All right, there you go. Phil Kessel and Mika Zabinijad. Rhymer's in the net. Second period. Uh, JVR scores. All right, come on now, offense. You got to get something going here. Third period. Yeah, baby, we tied it up. Mark Stone, power play goal. And we have a power play going into overtime. Overtime period. All right, we're going to a shootout. Come on now, boys. Get that extra point. We need it. Shootout, baby. Ah, oh, the Toronto Maple Leafs. Phil Kessel doesn't take a shot in a shootout. What the hell? Wrist shot as well. All right, so not the greatest start here, boys. 0-1-1 one one start the year. Phil Kessel gets the only goal in the shootout. The Ottawa Senators dropped their first two games, which are home games as well. Not that good. All right, so Robin Lehner's not playing the greatest so far. That last, well, that last game wasn't his fault. I won't, I won't uh, blame it on him just yet. But let's keep going here. I don't think any line changes just yet. I want to see if this losing streak continues or if we can turn it around. I, I desperately want to be a good team this year, so I want to get these early wins. Florida Panthers, away game. First period. There you go. All right, Justin Ablocator gets one. Oh, they got Frederick Anderson on this team. Ooh, this is going to be a good one. Anderson versus Laner. Oh, man, I'm going to hear it. Second period. All right, there you go. Third period. Oh, man, Zach Smith ties it up late. All right, 2-2 game. Another overtime game for us here. Come on now, boys. Get that extra point. Another divisional game here. Overtime. Oh, my God. Jonathan Huberto with a snapshot by Robin Laner. All right, so I'm going to do some line changes here, boys. I know a lot of people may not agree with this, but... Um, you know, for some reason, I don't know what it is. I just don't, I don't want to blame. Let me check out the uh, the stats of two players right now. But because there's one, there's one obvious change that I'd like to make. And that would be Weirkosh up to the first line with, uh, with uh, Carlson. For some reason, man, let me just see what the stats is. Minus one, only 1 1.3 games played for Cody Cece. Carlson, let's see here. Two points, he's a plus. Oh, he's an even. Weirkosh, let's see what his stats are like. Minus two. Yeah, like, let me let me get these two guys going again. I, I know what you guys are saying about Cody CC becoming a top two defenseman, but I really like the way our team played with these two guys on the same line. Cody CC with Justin Braun then. All right, I'll leave Cody CC on the first line power play, though. I'll leave that. I just want uh, I want that change right there. And you know what? I'll bring up Joel Ward to the third line as well. Curtis Lazar with Abdul Kader and Joel Ward. All right, there you go. Lost a few games here, but remember, two out of the three games that we lost were overtime games, so we're close, we're right there, don't worry. Yeah, I like that the uh, two out of the three losses that we have are overtime losses. We're getting some points, just gotta get some wins here, right? So another divisional game on the road, come on now, boys. Where are, where's our offense? Taylor Hall, let's go. First period, all right. 0-0 zero, zero game, five shots on the net for us, nine for them. We have the power play, though. Second period, all right, there you go. That's what I was waiting for, Curtis Laser. Uh, Hoffman, Hoffman, and Eric Condra. Perfect. Now, Robin Lehner, man, you gotta shut this down. I remember last year, a game against the LA Kings, he allowed three goals in the third period. You gotta get the W here, Robin. Third period. Yeah, there you go. Hoffman. Hoffman get a hat trick. Hoffman with the big hat trick. Curtis Lazar with two. All right. 
Flip the fan art for Dave, David Hasselhoff come off now. There you go. Good, good, good. All right. So Curtis Lazar what, from Hoffman, 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 Condra from Lazar. So Lazar had a three-point night, and Hoffman had a four-point night. Three goals, one assist. Beautiful. If Hoffman can continue to do that, man, on a regular basis, he'll definitely have good uh, second-line numbers. What have I always said for second-liners? 20 goals, 50 points. It's a solid year. I definitely think that Hoffman and Stone and, uh, and Zabinijak can do that, man. All right, so 1-1-2. One, one, and two. Let's keep going here. The Minnesota Wild, this could be a tough team. On the road, Western Conference game, so it's not as important, but still points. I want to get as many as we can early. First period. All right, okay, Marco Scandella. Second period. All right, Jason Zucker. We're not getting any goals here. Third period. Uh, got one back, Eric Carlson, but Ryan Suter on the power play. Okay, so you know... I don't think it's been our uh, defense. Our offense hasn't shown up in enough games. That last game we did, but uh, when you think about Taylor Hall and Bobby Ryan, they really haven't shown up, have they? Two goals for, two goals for, two goals for. Then we exploded with six, but it was like from our second and third lines, and then one goal for, right? So going back to the Edmonton Oiler game here, I don't know. I think maybe I could shake it up a little bit here. I could separate Taylor Hall from uh, from Bobby Ryan. Let me try that for a second here. You know what, considering that Stone got four, I mean, uh, Hoffman got four uh, four goals already, I can give Hoffman some first line time. Hang on a second here. Let's split up uh, Taylor Hall. There you go. Taylor Hall, you can go on the second line. Hoffman with Turris and Bobby Ryan. Should I get a... You know what, I'm going to give Stone the first line time because then we can get power forward, playmaker, sniper. Playmaker, sniper, two-way forward, all right? And Stone and Hoffman can both play their off wings. And then I'll split these guys up as well. Let's see if we can get two lines going, all right? There you go. This is why we like to do the quick sim at the beginning of the year, just to figure out some statistical anomalies, any line changes, or any potential trades that we need to make. So the Edmonton Oilers, they're 4-1-0. Not really the greatest teams to be running into right now, boys. We got to get a win. Simply put, we got to get a win. Come on now, Ottawa. We got to get back into this. First period. All right, there you go, Hoffman. He's been uh, he's been promoted to the first line. He gives me a five on five goal against Andrew Hammond as well. Jesus Christ, this is not good. Second period, uh, I knew it. Fisher and Noah Hannafin. Oh my God, the rookie is playing in his first year. And Mike Fisher, an old Ottawa Senator. So Hoff, I mean uh, uh, Hammond and Fisher, all these old Ottawa Senators. Come on now, boys, tie up the game at least. Third period. Oh my God, our offense is nowhere to be found. This is not one of the problems that I thought we would have. I thought we would be a bad uh, defensive team. Take Hank at freaking uh, Turris and uh, and uh, Bobby Ryan going. Taylor Hall had an assist that game. I just can't get, I can't find a way to get the first line going. We got to get the first line going, man. Definitely got to get the first line going. 1-3-2, and two. that is not good. Those regulation losses, they are starting to pile up. All right, forwards, uh, OHL. Well, yeah, that's the thing. We have these new <laughs> Johnny General Zod. Oh, my God. Krypton's military leader. He's in this, boys. Absolutely. And also, we have from Brooklyn, America, Brooklyn, USA, Steve Rogers, Captain America. Unbelievable. So we already got the goaltender in the last one. So we'll go forwards OHL. Yeah, there you go. Mackenzie Savard came up for us. All right, so the month is almost out. We desperately, desperately need to start winning some games here. All right, so I'm going to leave Hoffman on the second line. Stone's still on the first line, just for right now. Let's see if we can finish the month strong. All right, two home games right here. It'd be nice if we can get back to 500, 3-3-2. Three, three you know, it's not the greatest start, but come on. Let's 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 break the, let's bring this out of the uh, the water here, man. Let's dry off a little bit and start playing like the way we know how. First period, come on. There you go. Bobby Ryan, get a slap shot goal from center ice, Bobby. Just put it on the net. Good things will happen. We need some puck luck here. Second period. All right, there you go. Taylor Hall. Taylor Hall. See, this is what I need, man. You need your Bobby Ryan and your Taylor Hall to chip in with goals. All right? Three goals so far. Matt Pumple. Oh, my God. Now Pumple's playing as well. Please, God, let us win this game. Third period. Oh, my fucking God. Come on. Defense and Robin Lehner. We are out shooting them 38 to 20. And they tie up the game in the third period. Come on, if we can get a goal here. They're a Western Conference team. We need a win, though, boys. Come on, we need a win. Overtime period. Yes, baby. Bobby Ryan. Thank God. Robin Lehner, you jackass. So two goals from Bobby Ryan, two goals from Taylor Hall. Our, our top-notch snipers showed up in that game, which is exactly what we need. But Robin Lehner, oh, my God. 
He is he is shitting the bed big time for us. All right, so there you go. Some good points. Zabinijad and Hoffman, man, they're getting some points with Taylor Hall in that second line. And if we're looking to grow those guys, that might be something that we want to look into, right? So the record's still not the greatest, two three and two, but we got to win there. Come on, let's come back with one more win. One more win. Come on, boys. Let's end this season. Home ice advantage. I end this uh, this uh, month, not the season. And this month, home ice advantage with a win to get us back to 500. Come on now, boys. First period. There you go. Mark Stone and Zach Smith. Beauty. We're getting some depth goal scoring now. Second period. All right. Kuznetsov gets one back. Come on now, offense. Don't let... Oh, we got to get another goal here in the third period. We have to. Eastern Conference team would be a big regulation win. Third period. Oh, my God. He allows another two goals in the third period, does Robin Lehner. Stone gets one. We have a two-goal lead with six minutes left, and he allows two goals. One with 55 seconds left. Jesus Christ, Robin Lehner. And it's also our defense, though. Like, it must be. I want to blame Robin Lehner on, on, on this, but Jesus Christ. Oh, that's bad. Come on, we got to get the overtime win. Overtime. Okay, shootout. Come on now, boys. We're 0-1 in the shootout. Got to get this win. Shootout time. Yeah, baby. Taylor Hall and Bobby Ryan. So back-to-back -back games, our, sh our snipers show up for us. They won it last game in regulation. They win it this game in overtime. Oof. Okay. Okay, okay. I can see it right now. All, this, all the comments about goaltending. Lack of goaltending. All right, so... You guys have uh, made me believe a little bit. Thank God our offense shows up a little bit there. But still, I wouldn't have uh, I wouldn't have wanted Anderson for eight million dollars, man. That's just way too much. But finding a, maybe a backup who's also eighty five overall, so we can go back and forth from that may be a smart idea. So we're gonna stop it right there. Let's just go to the trading block. And let's see if there's any goaltenders that are available. Any cheap goaltender. I'm not talking about like uh, like a Ryan Miller actually might work out. If his trade value is a little bit lower. That's the thing. I don't like that trade value. He would be a better player to get to upgrade just for this year. Because we can wait for uh, Mackenzie Savard. The only thing is I don't like the trade value. It's a little bit too high. I'd have to give up a lot. I'm looking for somebody who's maybe 84, 85 overall. Who can be a backup. Who's got nice low trade value that I can easily pick him up. Hang on, let's see. There you go, Darcy Kump, uh, Darcy Kemper, yeah, 84 overall, let's see, two years left, I could definitely pick this guy up for a backup for Robin Lehner, if he starts to play bad, we can go to 2-1 to one loss ratio, Darcy Kemper, uh, Kemper, whatever his damn name is, uh, Roberto Luongo, you know what, the only thing about Luongo that sucks is the years left. Six years left, which I don't like. But if he retires, it's not a problem. But he would be an upgrade from Robin Lehner. And when you look at uh, uh, Ryan Miller, Luongo's trade value is much easier. So we could snag him up with a like a second and something, right? If we were willing to give up that. I'm just saying I'm possibilities. I'm opening up the possibilities for you guys. Roberto Luongo, Ryan Miller, uh, Darcy Kemper, uh, Colorado, no, Carolina, Calgary, Buffalo, Boston, Arizona, Anaheim. All right. So, hang on a second. Yeah, that's basically it. All right. So, we have three potential goaltenders if we want to go out and make that trade. All right. Ryan Miller, Roberto Luongo, and Darcy Kemper. I'll let you guys uh, go nuts with that. Uh, team standings right now, 23rd in the NHL. These stats are going to be a little bit... Uh, all over the place just because we're early in the season. 2.63 goals for per game, so we need to score more. Goals against, 2.88. We need to play better defense. Power play percentage, first in the NHL. So, our power play is doing fine, so that's good news. Our penalty kill, 18th. Our penalty kill could be doing a little bit better. Home record, 2-1-1. One, one. Away record, 1-2-1. One, one. Our last 10, 3-3-2. Three, three, so, don't go crazy just yet, boys. It's early in the season. You know, we're back to 500. We win another two games. We're 5-3-2. You know what I mean? Like... Can easily start to win some games right now. I just wanted to do the slow simulation to see how people are playing. Now let's go and take a look at the stats here. So Mike Hoffman. Maybe I should keep Hoffman with Taylor Hall, boys. Nine points in eight games played. I know he had that four-point game, right? So it's really only five points in seven games played, something like that. But still, Zabinijad, eight points. Stone, seven points. So my second line has all got more points than my first line. Even Curtis Lazar has got more points than Bobby Ryan, Kyle Turris, and Taylor Hall. So... You know, we can blame Robin Lehner all we want. I think it's these three guys. You can say the goaltending's not there, but if we had a few more goals, then we would be winning those games like we won the last two. The last two games, Bobby Ryan and Taylor Hall have shown up. And I think all their points came in the last two games, right? So uh, we need our first line to start tearing it up. And maybe that's why 
the change for Taylor Hall to the second line was a good change. Let me know what you guys think about that. All right, these guys down here, all minus players. We could be getting a little bit more out of these guys. Defenseman, Carlson with four points. Cody CC with three. Weirkosh with two. All right, maybe I could put Cody CC back with Carlson. Let me know. And then goaltenders, Robin Lehner. Yeah, that ain't good enough. 3.21 goals against average and a save percentage of 88.76. That's not good enough. Ben Scriven's had one game. He's got one win. Two games played. No, sorry. Two games played. One win, one loss. 1.51 1. Uh, 1 goals against average. Maybe we should be starting Ben Scrivens, man. Who knows? All right. So, boys, let me know. You've seen it now. What should we do for this year? Because I'm looking to become a playoff team once again. All of our young guns can get experience, become better for next year. But, uh, you know, the playoffs are not an automatic. So, what should we do? Let me know, and I'll see you in the next one.